Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, use your iPhone as a webcam. So this is really useful when you are running a presentation online. So you can uh, project yourself with a high quality uh, video camera. So as you can see right now, let me just make it. As you can see right now, I'm using my iPhone 11 Pro Max camera as a webcam. So as you can see, the quality right now is directly from the iPhone. Now let me switch between the iPhone to the built-in camera on my iMac. Well, as you can see right now, this is the quality right from the built-in camera on the iMac. So I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison so that it gives you a, a better idea of what it looks like. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is the quality from the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So as you can see, uh, the quality between the two devices is completely different. So it's like uh, on the iPhone, uh, you know, I'm using uh, an expensive camera as a webcam, like streamers. So streamers need a uh, high quality camera as the webcam. So I think uh, with the quality from the iPhone, as you can see right now, it's more than acceptable even when you want to stream so that you don't have to, you know, spend a thousand or two thousand just for a camera as a webcam. And better than this, uh, as you know, uh, on iPhone, we have four different cameras as I'm using right now the 11 Pro Max I have got four cameras so three at the back and one more at the front so you can actually use one of those okay so this is the main camera with a 1x zoom now let me change to uh, 2x zoom okay so this is another camera they are one of the three so I'm using another one it's just bring me a little bit close up okay you see the sharpness on my face instead uh, when I'm using the built-in camera on the computer it just show you know everything is very smooth it, and the color of the skin tone is really pale you know it doesn't look as natural as it should be so now let me switch to another camera okay so for your information another camera is the wide angle camera so as you can see you can even use the uh, wide angle camera as a webcam if you don't want to project yourself close up to the camera I think you can make use of the wide angle as you can see right now so behind me is really wide and myself is a bit further from the camera but actually I'm sitting in the same position as I uh, said before I didn't change my position at all okay so now let's get started on how you can use your iPhone as a webcam okay guys so uh, in order to do that uh, all you need to do is to install one application so this app is called Hippocam Pro yeah you have to install it this app can be found on the App Store you can just search for Hippocam when you search for Hippocam you can see two different apps available the first one is the paid version which is eight dollars yeah eight dollars only and you can use it on your iPhone and the other one is a free version so you don't have to pay anything for this version it's completely free but the thing is that there are lots of ads inside the app so it's quite annoying sometimes you can choose to press on the ads and it's pop up so it, it exit this Epo cam it's not good uh, from from my experience but for you you can try the uh, free version first to see if you like the app and then you can purchase later but for me i have paid for the uh, paid version it is eight dollars as i mentioned so you have to yeah, download. You can download the app. Next, as you can see, the app is connected to my computer. If it is not connected, for the first time, if you have never installed that app, you need to go to get started. You can see, uh, begin here, get other device, drop to my iMac. This is for the Mac OS version. If on window, you can choose this one and email the download link or you can, if you are using a uh, Mac, okay, it, it's very easy. You can copy the download link or you can drop up to send this to my Mac. And now let me turn it on. Yeah, this is uh, an EpoCam install package. Just for your information, if this package is uh, an old version, I suggest you go to the website, okay? Visit the website. When I open the website on my iPhone, the hand-free feature, yeah, I can just open it. As you can see, now I'm opening this website on my iPhone and I don't have to copy and paste. Yeah, you can see here the Safari from iPhone 11 Pro Max, so I can just click on that Safari. It just link uh, to the page that I'm opening on my iPhone. As you can see now, we are on the same page. You need to do, select the product. So this is called EpoCam. Yeah, this is what we are looking for. And then, yeah, 
WordPress download. As you can see this is the installer package. Now you have the package installed on your Mac or your window. All you need to do next is to make sure that your Zoom is up to date. After you install the Apple Cam, you can just go to the app arrow here and then go to video setting. You can choose between Apple Cam or your FaceTime HD camera. This is the built-in. And make sure that your iPhone is launched with the app. So let me yeah as you can see now I'm using the Epo cam. I'm using my iPhone 11 Pro Max as the uh, the webcam. The quality is way much different from each other. This is Epo cam. You see uh, you can see my face clearer than the built-in one. With Epo cam we are using the top and highest quality camera from this iPhone. One good thing about the Epo Cam, you can see the setting over here. You have a bunch of options, the connection and the quality. So with the connection, you can uh, use auto mode, Wi-Fi, USB or NDI. So what I'm using right now is the USB. The reason for using the USB over the uh, Wi-Fi is that it's really risky to use the Wi-Fi as a means of a webcam communication between the iPhone and the computer. We don't know the, the internet goes unstable you know uh, sometimes right so it's better if you use the USB instead in addition to this with USB you can uh, set the quality of your video camera up to best so it can show the best quality of all from your camera on the bottom you can see there are a bunch of uh, options you see 1x is mean I'm uh, using the main camera so 2x is zoom in a little bit more and then uh, 0.5x so this is the wide angle this one is to uh, swap yeah you rotate you can see the Apple logo here okay so this is the right side or you can change to the green screen if you don't want to show what's behind you if you don't want to use the virtual background you can just use the green screen back to normal and this one is to change yeah the camera to the uh, front facing camera so as I mentioned there are four cameras on iPhone so you can use either one is up to you so I prefer the main camera at the back so with a mic here it means that uh, you can use the mic right from your iPhone instead of the mic uh, from your computer or your Mac okay if especially when your Mac is having an issue with the, um, the built-in uh, mic okay so you can use this one instead and you can also turn on the flashlight you can see that yeah, it's up to you okay I think that should should be all for me and if you guys have any questions just let me know in the comment down below let me know what you want to see next if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please consider doing so because more tutorials are coming see ya thanks